Russia's military trouble to Ukraine has brought terror to the region and destabilized global energy markets. What else might the conflict portend for the US frugality? How does this all relate to the ongoing struggle by the Federal Reserve to hammer down inflation? In today's video, we'll tell you everything we know. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Even before the Russian invasion, the Fed's once policy miscalculations put it in a very delicate situation. The maintenance of an ultra-easy financial policy stance at a time when the frugality was recovering firmly and receiving its largest peacetime budget boost on record caused inflation to surge to a 40-year high. At the same time, by continuing to buy massive quantities of US Treasury bonds and mortgage-backed securities at a time when the US equity and housing markets were on fire, the Fed created bubble-like conditions in the equity and housing markets. This combination of high inflation and high asset price inflation had put the Fed in an acute policy dilemma before the Russia-Ukraine crisis. However, it risked allowing both inflation prospects to get settled and farther ahead to be added to already bubbly asset and credit markets if it failed to raise interest rates aggressively now. That in turn would set the US up for an even harder economic landing down the road than if it now acted in a timely manner. On the other hand, if it were to raise interest rates aggressively, it might succeed in getting the inflation genie back into the bottle, but at the price of bursting today's everything asset price and credit market bubble. Russia's Ukraine invasion now makes the Fed's policy dilemma all the more acute. It does so by both adding to our current inflationary pressures and heightening the chances that our asset and credit market bubbles will soon burst as a result of heightened geopolitical suspicion. On the other hand, the housing market has been unforgiving to first-time buyers. The rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage spiked above 4% this month for the first time in nearly three years. According to consumer fiscal services company Bankrate, that means someone borrowing $300,000 to buy a home today is paying $143 more every month than in November, when rates were closer to 3%. The Fed should never have permitted itself to get into its current policy dilemma. It did so by keeping interest rates too low for too long in the face of rising inflation at the same time that it was buying numerous bonds for too long in the face of roaring equity and housing market prices. Last year, had the Fed been less casual about inflation and asset price inflation pitfalls, perhaps also we'd not have been as vulnerable as we are right now to having the Russia-Ukrainian extremity help precipitate a hard economic landing. That's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.